standing in the door of patient room number two, it's little Sarah. What? You saw her? I saw her for sure. this day. It still gives me goosebumps. Ooh. Very many things that mess me up in the paranormal field. This is the one. All right, and I'm waiting. Yeah, I'm sorry, Elton. I Are you can't. leaving? I, dude, I can't. Walkie talkie in here. You hear that? I just heard a cry. I just heard a cry. Oh my god. Oh, 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 oh. Sarah, are you here? Oh, oh, oh. Oh. You see what that? The f no. What the f dude? What? What do you want us to find you? What's up everyone and welcome back to the overnight channel where we are dedicated to all things paranormal, unknown, spooky, unsolved, haunted, might kill ya. Never know what's gonna happen, but we're here to find out. And this is our first time filming since the Warren Museum. Yeah. The very first time. That. It took about two months off of filming. We're about to be going on an eight day, nine day road trip mm -hmm. throughout. We're in Utah, Idaho, Montana, Wyoming, Jeez. Colorado for the Stanley Hotel. And that the Stanley called? Hotel is, is from Shining. The Shining, yes. Yeah. It is the Stanley Hotel. We have the rooms, all the three famous rooms. Yeah. The one that Stephen King was in, the one where everything else, we have all those rooms. But That's the locations true. on this trip are awesome. They are. Twin Bridges Orphanage, I couldn't be more excited for. Yeah. All of them, all of them are gonna be great. But tonight, Asylum 49, mm -hmm. I'm amazed it took us this long to get here, given how many times we've come to Utah. Yeah. We've already seen it. We actually just mm -hmm. did the tour. He let us. His name's actually Scary Daddy. It's Scary, Scary Daddy. He goes Scary by Daddy. AKA Scary Daddy. Yeah. And not only do we hear some of the more incredible. Oh my God. Paranormal <sighs> encounters, mm -hmm. exchanges that we've mm -hmm. ever heard of. In addition to that, we were able to see an item that apparently I wasn't, he refused to be within a hundred feet of when I was able to open it. I cannot so believe you just did cool. that. I, I, really can. I can't, that's why I'm freaking out right now. I cannot believe you just did that. I've been asking our viewers to send me any haunted items that they just don't want anymore for whatever reason, whether they don't want it what? or they need to get rid of it. And we have about 20 of them with us. And throughout the next couple nights, we're gonna be opening a few of them randomly. And the other thing is I asked when everyone sent these to please include some sort of a letter or message or handwritten anything so we understand why it's haunted, why they wanted to get rid of it, and what those reasons might be as opposed to just like opening up a doll and being like, okay. We should open up some items, get out the night vision cameras, and find the solo chair in the basement. <laughs> this will be fun. How about if you pay, let's, let's, do, let's do this. We close our eyes, uh -huh. pick an item, you open it. What? Yeah. Close when, your eyes, pick an item, open it. When did I volunteer to open right the item? It's a deal, right? I'm not touching your hand. Hey. I'm not. No, not even because no, of no. that. Not even because of the pipe. Dude, not. Just don't touch his hand anyway. No, not because of what you just touched. What? I can't. I'm, uh, uh, I know. Yep. <laughs> yep. 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 Yeah. We gotta I open up the box. <laughs> <laughs> we gotta open. I am so excited to be here. Are you? Right yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh my. Corey, Get, do, do the, the knock. asylum. You know what, Corey? Instead of the Asylum 49 knock, Asylum 69 knock. Show us. Do a handstand. Okay. <laughs> he actually can. Yep. Okay. <laughs> knock on the door. Oh, what? Oh, oh my god. Wait a second. What do we, what do we just walk into? Bro. It's so sick. Have you ever seen this place? <laughs> I've only seen videos about it. Oh, no. I've seen a lot of videos about this place. This is. Yeah. It, this feels like something's gonna pop out here. Frank's gonna pop out right here. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> if anything's gonna pop out, it's right there. How's it going? How Elton, you? Elton, Kim, how are you? Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Hi, I'm Corbin. Corbin. Nice to meet you too. Hey, Corey. Corey. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Evan. Evan. <laughs> Behind the light. Jonah. What is it? Jonah. 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 Nice to meet you. You know, this, this hospital was actually 
used for definitely the Tooele Valley, but it was also used for the soldiers. Oh. Mm -hmm. It was funded back in the day by the military to start. Uh, so there's some military history here as well, so we have some of that. During the October season, it is our height for paranormal activity. It is insane. Huh. Um, it's some of, when my, some of my most personal experiences that I've ever had here have happened during the October season. We had objects move in front of people. We had what? people getting scratched. We had, and it wasn't, it, it was physically like in a room full of people. So wow. you would see something get thrown off the table after you asked for it. Oh, um, that's so, insane. Uh, and, and those spirits still reside here, but the energy level is lower. So it's a little tougher for them to get to do those things. But yeah. there are some here that will surprise you for sure. I thought I had one, I, there, I swear to God, one was gonna kill me early on. Um, sat on my chest, couldn't breathe. Wow. All the typical things, and this is when the paranormal wasn't huge. Mm -hmm. So there wasn't a lot out about it. I mean, it was, but not mainstream. Yeah. It, it, every breath I took, it got further and further. It was a big black mass. It had a horrid smell. Oh, you and, could see it too. Uh, like just pretty much the mass of it, right? Yeah. Um, and you could, like, it was just like, just kind of pound, pounding on my chest. And, and, um, and I couldn't move, I was paralyzed, and I, I made enough noise or like moved a hand that my wife at the time had sort of woke up, turned on the light, and it instantly vanished. And that is the nursery. The medium had told me that this little girl, this little uh, girl named Sarah, that was the room she had passed in. But she would come back and forth because of the babies, right? She'd come in and watch the babies, then she'd go back into the room she had passed in. I was in this room talking to those kids and they said, there's a little ghost out in the hallway and we don't want to be here anymore. And I said, you just stay right here. We'll go into the, and I took them into this, this special nursery. I said, stay right here and we'll, I'll go out and see what's happening. I walked out into the hallway and standing in the door of patient room number two was little Sarah. Why? You saw her? I saw her first sure. day. And, and it didn't freak me out because she wasn't the first spirit I had saw. Mm. Um, you, and you could tell she had long brown hair She's very girly girly. She had a dress, lace around here, lace around the collars. It went all the way down to her feet, lace around the bottom. Wow. And again, I didn't freak out because I had seen another spirit, two of them at that point now. That part didn't freak me out. What freaked me out is I could actually hear her. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. And she was standing in the doorway and she was crying. Oh. She had her hands over her eyes like this. It's not fair, this is not fair. And I was like, it, it still gives me goosebumps. Ooh. And I said, what's not fair? She says, it's not fair, it's just not fair. I'm like, what's not fair? She goes, I just want to do what they're doing. I want to scare people. She talked and to I you. And I said, yeah, and wow. that's, this is the part that really freaked me out. It freaked me out later more than at the time, right? And I said, listen, that's great, but these kids know that you're not real and you're not supposed to be here. And you know, you're really freaking them out. And she's like, I just want to scare people. And I father about 110 kids during the October season. So my father and they have to kick in pretty quick, right? I had taken all those hospital beds you've seen and see how these two are kind of staggered like this. Mm -hmm. Oh, there's another, there's a third one. See how they're staggered like that? Yeah. We staggered them all the way down the hallway. Mm -hmm. I had taken mannequins, put mannequins on them and I put them, covered them with white sheets and then I put black lights in. So when you walk through the door, you look like you had dead bodies all the way down the hallway. Mm. And the very last two beds that were right next to each other, there were live kids and they would jump up and scare you. Oh. And so I looked at her and I said, listen, I'll make you a deal. I said, see these beds down here? I said, why don't you hide under those beds? And when people come by, you can grab at their feet. And she went, oh, and drifted off. The bed was actually right there, drifted off underneath that bed. What? And I, uh, yeah, and, and I can tell when somebody's really had that type of experience, it is nothing like you see on TV. It's very emotional. Mm -hmm. And you remember I was up and running haunted house. It was non-existent. I heard no sounds. There was no weird lights. The only thing that existed was me and this little girl. That was it. The Where minute was she, she standing? drifted Where? away, she was literally right here. <clears throat> wow. The minute she drifted under, everything come rushing back. And I was bawling my eyes out. Wow. I had just tears running down my face for no reason. Wow. Well, not for so a reason. That, well, that sounded pretty incredible. It was, and I guarantee you it was something to do with that connection that we had, right? Definitely. So I actually had another encounter with her uh, about three years later. Because that's an unbelievable story to tell somebody, Truly. right? Truly. But I had told that story for another five years or so later. And I was walking down, closing up this time instead of opening. 
And I have a pet peeve with a haunted house where my security guards are not allowed to use their flashlights unless it's an emergency. Mm -hmm. Because the last thing you want to see is somebody coming through and there's a security guard like looking for keys or something. It just ruins everything. Yeah. And so they know that, but they're humans and they like to mess with me. So once in a while they will just wait. No one will be around. They'll like, watch and they put the flashlight out just to be, you know, <laughs> get, get a rise out of me. This doorway was open because I wanted the very long hallway effect. And we're walking through and just about right here, I see this big bright light come up behind me. And I said, and I was with uh, my wife at the time and I said, God damn security. And we turned around to see little Sarah standing right there mm. going, daddy, you scare me, daddy, you scare me. And all I could do, cause I had, I had had this interaction and I'd actually had other interactions with her since then, not physically see them. I looked at my wife and said, see, real <laughs> the area that i was telling you about where objects were moving and things was current was in the conference room um it was crazy because i didn't ever understand why would that room have so much activity right mm -hmm. there was two reasons one uh, the kids were the most active in there um and i never understood that till i dug real deep when this hospital first started that was a makeshift school oh because back then you, the whole family had to come to the hospital it wasn't uh, you know if the dad got sick Everybody came. And so the kids had to go to school, so they'd send them to the conference room to, go, to learn. Um, and that's where the kids had came from. But I couldn't figure out why the activity was so great. And speaking to some of the nurses that used to work here, uh, I came to one of the tours and I was talking about that. I said, I don't get it. And they said, the conference room, nothing ever had good happened there. Mm. As an employee, if you were gonna get reprimanded or fired, that's where they would take you. Okay. If your loved one was in the hospital and they weren't going to make it, that's where they would take to tell them. And so there was a lot of grief and sorrow in that room, which is also a big um, source of energy. It might not be like the scary type or whatever, but it's there. And so it, it's just kind of been held there. And we believe that was why that area was so active. This right here is obviously our swamp. This is But nuts. if you look on the floor, you can see outlines of the rooms. See that little line you're standing on? Sure, yeah. And yeah. it comes and see how it kind of turns like this? Yeah. This was the nurse's station. Oh, this okay. is the exact spot where I first seen my first apparition. Really? Uh, yeah, I was with a medium and, and that was her sole purpose. And I didn't know she didn't tell me that we walked the hospital for almost three and a half hours and we went into the conference room and I came back out and, and nurse Ratchet was sitting right here and, and I looked and I went and I froze and I just stood like that. And she goes, it's about goddamn time. Nurse Ratchet? Yeah. As yes. in she was a nurse, the very staunch German type hair pulled back. She ran the roost. I still to this day model a lot of my nurses here on the haunted house after her. Wow. I'm gonna show you guys one other thing. I don't normally let people do this. Um, this has separate basements. Um, ah. I built this trap door for the haunted house. What? I would put a cast member down in there and they played Evil Dead. Nice. That goes down into the second basement. Tell you the last two people that have done this have been freaked out by the loud noise that comes from the basement when they're there. They put them down in there and they shut the trap door. And all of a sudden there's this loud banging noise underneath it and they shoot out of there. If you crawl through a little tunnel, it does go to the other side. Um, but this side is probably 40 feet by 40 feet. If you climb through all those pipes and all that dirt, there's a doorway over there. That'll get you to the other basement. Your back is killing you. They just walked a mile away. Me? Yeah. So who wants to go there by themselves? <laughs> what is it? Who wants to go there by themselves? I'll be upside that? down. Yeah. I'd rather be upside down for My foot for can't even minutes. sit through that. I've already seen it, so I feel like it's unfair if I already go there by myself, because I've already kind of been there. Where does it go? It's to a place. It's a thing that you sit in. And it's like, it's not scary, you know? In or on? You'll, it's fine. No. You'll enjoy it. I'll think about it. Okay. I'll think about, think about it. it in the chair back there. It's a thinking chair. Oh, what you I'm just said it's a chair. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's a chair. Should I should I do this or? <laughs> uh, so what's what's this, yeah. Elton? There's a box. All right. So, I heard you guys have viewers that send you haunted items. This yeah. The new thing that I've just heard. Is it? We haven't opened any yet. Oh man. We have a basketball actually, literally. Right is that what this those is, were? Yeah. This is a great place to do that. Um, these spirits will 
they'll help you out and if you have to you can leave them here it's i wanted to show you i'd heard you guys had done that stuff and i wanted to show you i've been collecting things over the last year to put in a museum that i'm putting in the back of a hospital um it's a museum based off medical quack medicine oh and dentistry i have dentistry stuff also and asylum items but i've also collected items from serial killers Mm. And so I brought a few of those little things out to share with you guys tonight. This is, and a lot of people don't know this about Jeffrey Dahmer. Um, uh, Ted Bundy? Or excuse me, thank you, gosh. Yeah, um, I have J Dahmer's stuff next to his. Oh. Ted Bundy, uh, he had um, ties to Utah. And I had came across this by a gentleman that he had rented a home from here. Mm. Um, and he had gone into the house and Ted Bundy was smoking this pipe. This is Ted Bundy's smoking pipe. Okay. This pipe came to me, the gentleman that had found it started to come into bad luck. He ended up, I mean, almost to death to a point where he's gonna take his own life. He Jesus. started having unbelievable dreams and visions and things, just horrific. And he had got to a point where he said, listen, I've gotta get rid of this. And, yeah. Um, he knew I was doing the museum and he called me up. This is how this was sent to me, wrapped with two rosaries, in a cloth soaked in holy water. I brought it to the hospital to open it up and I'd opened it up. Everybody in the room for the next two weeks had horrific dreams and visions. Jeez. We had a car accident. Somebody sliced open their hand. Um, Yikes. There was a couple other things that had happened with that as well, just from unwrapping this. And I'm going to let you at least unwrap the pipe. <laughs> I need, it is in pieces because it does come apart. So please do it over the box. I'm gonna give you, I'm gonna yell at you. You're gonna tell me it's wrapped back up with the rosaries wrapped around it. Okay. Fair? Cool. Who wants to do the honor? I'm gonna come That's with you. That's gonna be it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna come with you. Yeah. Yeah. Not very many, Annabelle. there are not very many things that mess me up in the paranormal field. This is the one. Open it low and over the box because it's pieces, right? So it, because it does come apart. Got so, it, okay. Um, Cool. Who's ever doing the honors? Yeah, I mean, it's I'm assuming it's me. It's automatically Elton. All right, and I'm way over here. Yeah, I'm sorry, Elton. I Are you leaving? I, dude, I can't. Annabelle, we were told how to protect ourselves, right? So why can't you do that here? Because we don't know if there's a way to protect yourself from this. You protect yourself from Annabelle, why can't you Ted protect- Ted Bundy is attached to this. You don't want to- The sink in my bathroom turned dude, on by- Dude, dude, what are you doing? Uh, you want some water? No, nah, man. Want to go further Ooh. this way? No, I'm, 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 I'm getting there. It, it, it's just weird. It's just something weird with that pipe. I don't know what it is. It is. I just keep my hands feel weird. We've been trying to affect that. Oh, that's cool. Oh, it even has a crystal, a cleansing crystal in it as well. Are you taking it out like you're? Yeah, I'm taking it, it fully out. Well, I'm not yet. My hands are not. It's it's wrapped up really really well. Wow. Oh, that's so cool. I don't even know how these things work. That's so cool. I'm gonna tell you, because he's not here to hear this. Mm -hmm. And that way, if one of those two guys do that, there's some confirmation of what they saw. Okay. There is going to be a little girl in his dream. There's gonna be a ton of massacre. And there's also a dude with some like snarling teeth. Like, oh, he's brutal. What? Um, that's what people say they dream of after yeah, that? Yeah, that's what I dreamed of too. Is this what they all look like, all smoking pipes? So this no, elaborate? This no, feels like, that's not, definitely that's, not. This feels like no. a luxurious one, yeah? Yeah, that's not your usual smoking pipe. Yeah, I really, I rarely ever remember my dreams. I don't ever, ever yeah. remember my dreams. I, yeah. It's, I cannot tell you the last time I actually remembered a dream, except for those. Wow. On the front is, as well, two deer running along through the mountains. And then some kind of a bird or a hawk. That, dude, that's f I, And I'm, I'm not kidding you, I've been around tons of stuff. Like it doesn't, I've never had anything affect me that way, ever. The pipe has been rewrapped. It's rewrapped. That evilness oh, that he had yeah. when he was doing these things yep. was attached to that pipe. Yep. As opposed to items that you had purchased after, which I have drawings from Tool, I have, um, 
you know, the handkerchief, I have I, 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 the stuff from Domner. Those are all prior. You could you couldn't get you couldn't get. I mean, those are after they were incarcerated. Yeah. You couldn't get objects prior to that. They burned them. They did. You know, they demolished them. Some scary. But shit we don't get. Happened. You don't. You just don't get any none of that until after. Well, <laughs> give me about th what? Give him three days. Okay. After three days, tell them what we talked about. Where are we in three days? You go Benson Griff Mill, Idaho Reform School, and then Twin Bridges Orphanage. The one I'm most excited for. Cool, tell me that. Okay, we have devised a game plan. Yeah. We have these items. There's quite a few. So what we talked about is each taking one. Yeah. Whichever one you want. And then we are going to go off into three different teams. I'm with this guy. Okay, so it'll be Corbin and Evan. Evan. Corey and Jonah. Jonah. And then I'm going to be completely by myself. <laughs> and then once we get to wherever we're going to go, we're going to each open our own item. Oh. There should be, hopefully, a story with each of them. Uh, okay. All of these markers here, tape, it's because all the addresses are blocked out, just yeah. so you know. So don't lift off the tape. I would rather keep it just completely unknown. And if you sent the item, thank you. You know who you are. We appreciate it. If you see it in this the same way, you wouldn't tell me what happened over there. Uh -huh. I don't think we should tell each other what each item said. Nothing? What? Because then if anything happens, you know what I mean? I don't know what your okay. item is. And if something happens according, like, then... Yeah. Okay. So it'd be cool because then it would, it would verify, right? It would okay. verify if this item is like known for something or really another. Open these in a very, very scary place, right? Exactly. And yeah. then it happens when we're around later. Like we can rotate these items around throughout the trip. Okay. So mm. there's plenty of boxes to choose from. There's like all these little ones here. Oh, let me get a little Grab one. Grab what you want. I'll get um, the one that looks the happiest. Well, something's just telling me to take this one. Is it because it's closest? No, it's because he probably thinks they're Yeezys. There actually was a shoe. Hey, look, there's a shoe box with Pumas. Oh, they're, that's they're not a very heavy that's Pumas. Not, that's not very okay. heavy Pumas. Yeah, you're taking that, that box. No Puma. You're taking that okay, box. Okay, I'll take yeah, the that's your box. That's yours. All right, I'll take the Pumas. Those are yeah. Pumas, bro. That's yours. Okay. We have all the tools. Let's head inside. Yep. yep. We have a couple of new tools we want to show you before we start. He's yeah. gonna need a knife, probably. Yeah, I'll give you one. I have a knife in my back pocket. Walkie talkies. Mm -hmm. Walkie talkies are on. Check them real quick. Let's see if they check. And then hello, hello. Where are you off to? Sarah. Sarah, that makes yeah. fun of me. Yeah. That's that. yeah. This well, might be, honestly, Corey, a really good box for you, just looking at it. The music box, mm -hmm. the doll, the flashlights, mm -hmm. and then you have SLS, K2, EVP. Yep. All right, let's do another one. Yeah. Bye, guys. Oh, my God. I forgot this thing. I, oh, my God. I can't see anything. God damn it. Sometimes I forget that I'm like, oh, this is fine and easy. And then I get scared, and this is one of those moments. My face is too far. Oh, dude. Why did I volunteer to go? Stop. Look, look somewhere else. If, but okay, but if you actually did look somewhere else, that would be worse. Just keep looking where you're looking. You're fine. I like your hair, by the way. Looks, looks pretty good, you know, for, for being dead. Pretty good. Honestly, you have a better haircut than I do. So, I'm stalling. Can you guys still hear me? Do they still work? Um. Okay, cool. I just want to make sure that if I die, at least you will hear me die. Okay, but can Corbin hear us? I don't think Corbin can hear us or he turned it off. Fuck Corbin. Dude, look at this. I literally am a black... Give me that. Give me that. No, go. I oh. cannot see. Yes, you can. I'm going to hit a pipe. Watch, just duck. Give me the light. No, go! You want to be in front? It has to be this no, hole, it's, right? I think it's... What? Alright, we need to start now. Is this the right area, though, do you know? You heard those bangs? Yeah, dude, what the hell? <sighs> okay. Alright, first things first. I have something cool. So I got this. Ah. Probably see better if it wasn't fucking. Okay. 
maybe uh, I'll set up two things. Because after we open this, we're going to stay here and investigate for a little bit. Yeah, might as I well really get a baseline to see like what the activity does when we do different things. Facts. Okay, so I got to hit this and then snap, that should be synced. So, switching back and forth between the audio now, using this audio. Are any of you guys tapping right now? No, but I just heard stuff moving and footsteps about a minute ago. Okay, putting me alone with this device where I can literally hear everything on the first floor was a horrible mistake. Dude, it's all cardboard. This is getting worse and worse by the second, Evan. I need that light. Jesus. Where are we going? Uh, we just keep going around, I guess. You literally, you literally cannot run out here. Oh, that's a good point. The worst spot. Dude, I got my foot caught. Can you shine a light in here? I think we have to go underneath. Yeah. There's the chair. Oh my god. Why is it in the why is this room so big? The room's huge. Yeah, I, I'm excited to talk to Sarah. Yeah. I'm very excited. Reminds me a little bit of like Lily. Different exactly. stories. Exactly. Trans Elegant. But I'm not excited to open this box. I know. Dude, what are people sending? I'm so I curious. Don't know. Like dog, it could be cursed or something. Like this is like you know I don't like opening debit boxes or anything like that. So I have this. There's the box. Put this box over here. Okay, good. Now, I put the walkie talkie in here. You hear that? Yeah. Now, I put the walkie talkie in here. You hear that? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna get the K2 and turn that on. Okay, there's that. I'm gonna put that down right here for a second. It's a clock. Ooh. Okay, I'm going to uh. The note. You know what? Yeah, let's re let's read the note first yeah. before I uh, take it out. If anyone can hear me now? Would you mind letting me know your name? No way! Oh my god! It cut out. It completely cut out. Holy sh! This was actually fairly easy to open. Evan, I hope you know that if I have to run out of here, I'm gonna like <laughs> go right underneath you. Well, you're not gonna have a light. Oh, God damn it. Okay, and there's that. I'm gonna guess that's a note. Do you wanna read the note first? Should I? I, I should. Think so. I should, I should. This was my grandpa's clock, and he kept it on top of his fireplace for as long as I can remember. It was always working, and I know this because I was always mesmerized by it when I would visit. When I was little, I would sit on the carpet or the couch and stare at it as it kept ticking. It always worked, always. One day, it stopped ticking. 
That was the day my grandpa died. Wow. No way. For the longest time, I thought it was just because the batteries died, and it was strange timing. Coincidence, I figured. I always loved it, and I thought it would be a great way to be reminded of him every day I came home. Some of my best memories were in his living room, and he would doze off in the middle of telling me some of his favorite memories. When I got the clock home, I put new batteries in it so I could hear it tick once again. No matter how many new batteries I put in it, it wouldn't work. It didn't matter. Still, I was going to get rid of it, so I left it in its place. After that, I kept noticing strange small things in my house. Pillows from the couch would be in different positions. The TV would turn on with the volume way louder than I left it. Even different smells would come and go that I could never figure out where or why. After a few weeks, I then realized the minute hand on the clock had moved quite a bit. Ooh. I never touched the clock. These small things kept happening in the house and the hands on the clock kept moving little by little. It felt like every time I had a weird occurrence, the clock would move. Then it dawned on me that all of these strange things that would happen were all the same things my grandpa would do. Weird. I don't know why it took me so long to realize it. I never believed in that sort of thing, so maybe that's why. It's been years now. Pillows still move, footsteps in the evening, TV channels change when I turn it on, the clock still moves. I've never seen it happen. I've stared at it for hours and never seen it move. I truly think my grandpa is somehow still connected to the clock. That's why I'm giving it to you. The stories he would tell me were all about his adventures and travels. So when I saw your post about sending items to you, if my grandpa truly is attached to this clock, then maybe once again, he can travel, but this time with you. Keep him safe and maybe, since I know you'd love for this to happen, the clock will tick again with you. I don't exactly remember where I found the compass. I think it was on the side of the road next to a parking lot of these trails that I used to hike and ride bikes on, but I could be wrong. But that also seems right. Here's what matters though. I always thought that this was just a compass. Looks cool and I always felt cool when I hooked it onto my belt loop, like an adventurer. When I was about 12 or 11, my friends and I would just head out to the woods to climb trees, jump over stuff, build forts, whatever else we wanted. We decided to see if we could wander for a full hour and then use the compass to just keep going north for a bit more. Two of my buddies were Boy Scouts. They said it would be easy, so we did that. We hiked in for about an hour and then popped open the compass to follow it north. It sounded fun and we knew the woods pretty well, so why not? We'd follow the compass north and north and north until Dylan pointed out north wasn't north anymore. We argued about it and oh man did we argue about it. Dylan thought he was smarter than, the, than a compass, typical Dylan, so we kept following it north. After a while, we realized Dylan was right, but none of us wanted to admit it. So we just kept following it north. I think we went on for nearly two hours until we came across something so strange. We didn't really know where we were. There was across something so strange, a, sm a small structure or hut that, that was what looked like a small grave or tombstone type rock with the carvings into it. It was weird, man, so weird. It freaked us all out. Let's go back home now and turn back. The problem was we didn't know how to get back because the compass wasn't pointing north. It took us a while, like a long while, we found a stream and followed that back. A couple months go by and we decide, hey, let's go back to the same spot and use the compass again. We pop the compass out and follow it. North wasn't north. We followed it and kept going for 45 minutes to an hour until we stopped. We came across, we came across three deer lying down dead. They didn't want, they didn't look wounded or harmed. They weren't shot or attacked. They were all just laying down, heads nearly touching, just dead. When I tell you we ran out of there, I mean it. We all agreed to not use the compass again until we did, right after my 16th birthday. Dylan had moved, moved away, but came back to visit for a week. I think his mom had some stuff to finish up at their old house. We didn't have anything to do, and I still had the compass. We always kind of wanted to know if it was truly a compass or we were just kids being kids. We drove to a whole different forest, parked the car and opened the compass, followed it, followed it, followed it. North actually wasn't. North actually was north until it wasn't. Again, we watched it spin around a couple of times and knew it, knew it had started again. 
It led us to a pond and then around the pond. We ended up in a small patch of the forest where everything looked normal except a small circle of dead trees. I could give you more and more examples. Anytime I head out camping or hiking, I always bring this compass. I don't open it up as much as I used to, but it has always, and I mean always, led me to something strange. I don't get it. Maybe it's just luck, maybe it's broken, maybe it's just me exaggerating, but man, I love this thing. I used to get scared to use it, but nothing has ever happened to me. I picked the right thing, honestly. Please do me a favor. Do a history quiz and whoever loses has to <laughs> follow this compass for at least an hour. Well, guess what? We didn't have to do the history competition to be able to figure out who's gonna do it. It's me. <sighs> okay. They wrapped it in some paper towel. Okay. All right, you ready to see it? Her grandpa seems like a sweet guy though. Yeah, you know, this he does. doesn't this obviously isn't something evil. No. This is actually like pretty cool. Maybe he's you know, he wanted to attach himself to the clock or something and he wants to travel. Yeah. You know, everything happens for a reason, so Yeah. What's up, grandpa? You're coming on tour with us. <laughs> Take the compass. I think compass probably upstairs, right? I don't think this is gonna help down here. Okay, so I'll bring this, put it in my pocket. Okay, and let's just carry it. We'll come back this way, so I'll leave the box here. Sarah, if you're here, and if you wanna talk to us, you can. I heard that you like scaring people.
some gloves. You know what he was saying? I think he was saying that this is like where the materials were before they uh, put up the, I'll go this way. This is the materials, where the materials were where they made this building. And ah, they just said that they uh, closed this up. I'm gonna try to open it. Oh. Oh. You seeing this? You seeing that? Yeah. It just stopped. Is there anybody in here? Oh my God, you heard that step, right? Yeah. Evan, I'm coming closer to you. We're doing a freaking Charlie's Angels thing right now. We're gonna go back to back. We need to keep an eye out on everything. Oh my God. Was there ever anybody locked in this box? Dude. Oh my God, are you serious? I'm sorry. I'm sorry if you've ever been locked in here. That's obviously not a very nice thing to do, what they did to you. Do you want us to open this box? Okay. I'm gonna set the bear on the ground right next to under that bed. So if you wanna grab it, you can grab it and you can play with it. And that's how you can let us know that you're here. Oh, dude, I have huge chills right now. Really? Is there anybody in here? That's the claw marks that he's talking about. You see him? The scratches. Are there any children here that want to talk with us? We have a teddy bear laid out on the floor right over there and you can try grabbing it. It doesn't have to be just for Sarah. Do you enjoy being alone? You see it? Yeah. Just spiked a little bit. You enjoy being alone. Did it again. Do you not like that we are here? If you do want to talk, just give me one knock back. Yeah, dude, I kept, that's where I kept hearing stuff was on the bed. What the f was that? I don't know. Dude, it, okay, it either, okay, I'm kind of freaked out right now because it literally either sounded like this was moving or this. Okay, no, it wasn't that. Was it? Like it sounded like, like. Yeah. Are you shy? What the? I'm keeping my light right there. I'm not moving it. I'm not gonna move my light from right here because unless you make a sound over there. Do you think you have enough power to make a sound over on the other side?
Who's in front of me? Who the f*** is in front of me? Who is that? Who's in front of me? Where'd you go? There's no way I would hear them running. There's no way they, I would hear them. They can't move without me hearing them. Who? That's not who I saw. There was a wall here. Oh, wait, but it came from that corridor. That's the green mile they were talking about. That's where he was saying that the security cameras for the nurses would always see something. And I saw it right here go this way, right out the door. Maybe I can listen. I can't go through there, but I can listen. We're going to go to a different part of the building. What the fuck was that? I think he said Corey. God damn, I can hear you. That's insane. What the Did you say Corey? Dude. No, I said someone opened a door. No, 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 we heard it say Corey. Yeah, yeah. No, 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 we heard someone over Dude. the walkie-talkie say Corey. Right, as this thing's going off for the first time. I, I haven't done anything come through the walkie-talkie. I just said... Why the f***? Someone opened a door, so I just heard the door open, and I can't figure out from where. What the f***? Dude, the REM pod just went insane as the walkie-talkie just said Corey. Well, uh huh. And that's, it's it's that's right where we said we heard the sound coming from. That's the only device that's going off right now. It's on the bed right where we heard it. I think that you might want to be on the outside. And you might only want to knock on the walls because you're, squ you're scared to come talk to us. Dude. That was loud. If you're standing over there and you want to talk to us, but you're a little afraid. Oh, oh, oh. you see this? Are you coming closer? You can come in closer. I want to talk to you. Did you see this going off a little bit? A little. It's like faint. It's very, very faint. You heard it go, yeah. Corey. Yeah, 100%. What the f***? Did oh my f***. Dude, oh my Dude, you God. are a piece of You see me double take up the screen? <laughs> no. Oh my God. Oh. I was like, I don't think that mannequin was there before. And I went to double check and that's when I heard hi. You suck. Oh my God. Oh my God. What a fucking Elton, come here. bitch. <laughs> Oh, oh my god. god. You guys scared us. <laughs> Yo, I heard, I heard. Dude. And I didn't see Corey. Do you have the, you have the, it's the mic on? Yes, dude, I literally heard, I heard you breathe. And I was like, and I didn't see you. Oh, oh my god. Any luck? We had some stuff, dude, with the K2 that went down over there. In the chair? First off, you didn't tell me that that box that's down there, that's heavy to open, dude. That's a that's a big strenuous box. Do you see all the claw marks in it? Yes. All those yeah, I opened it up. To get out. Mm -hmm. We did a K2 session on that. We got a couple couple things, and also the main thing is I just want to make sure, like, I don't know, I kind of want to see like what you guys are at because we heard some stuff down there that I didn't know if it was like like moving. Yes. I never left my dude, room until 
like I don't know, maybe 10 minutes ago. Okay, because literally on the walls, just like a boom. The thing, but the thing boom. is, I I know where I if I could hear you, so I yeah. made sure to not go near you until I wanted to. How separate were the booms? It was like. Honestly, it was sometimes it'd be after asking a question. Okay. And I'd be like, okay, that's definitely that's definitely for me. Okay. Right? Because I knocked on the wall twice. Okay. But they were minutes apart. Yeah. And no, it's no. because I got a knock back. It wasn't that then. Okay. How long no, have you guys been here for? Like the whole time? Yeah. Yeah. Where was Sarah's area? It was right, right, here, right, right here. here. Yeah, right here. Here? Yeah. Cause she Oh yeah, she was the, the door. Was she was staring right here. Yeah. I'll, I'll cut this right now. Do you want to do like a group thing? I want to do a group oh thing. Oh my god, Sarah. it's so weird not hearing like supersonic. You're like yelling now. Oh, am I? Yeah. Oh my god, I unpressed the button, so now I'm like normal, normal hearing. Oh, weird. Oh yeah, I've been, yeah, oh my god. <laughs> Dude, this is, I wow. hear everything. Some crazy <laughs> Loki happened. Just now? The whole time almost. We were about to give up and then it started going crazy. Here. The walkie talkie yeah. whispered Corey and then the rim pod went off for 30 seconds and that was the only time it went off. But it didn't go off just one color. It was multiple. What? Yes. Did you get orange? Yeah. Oh, okay. All right, we should do group. We should do a group yeah, session for sure. Definitely do group. All right, we're going this way? Yeah. Sarah, we're coming to you. When I say I can, you should, this is crazy. You should put this on at one point. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This is so, it, it's awful. Being by yourself with this on, horrible. Oh, I bet. Horrible. Is it ridiculous? This is the first time I've ever actually felt like a Ghostbuster. This is yeah. the first time I've ever felt like a paranormal investigator. You're not gonna bust any When I'm just out here, like, <laughs> where are ya? <laughs> you? You do look like a ghost hunter. Come out on the count of three, you little <laughs> ghost. No, don't say that to Sarah. No. Sarah. Sorry, Sarah. If you're gonna scare anybody, scare him. To be fair, Sarah might be a child, but she probably is 80 years old. Did you already fed? Yeah. Oh, you did? Yeah. Oh, that's yeah. a terrible whisper. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I got my headphones on. I don't know. We could, we could hear everything. You're saying. What a terrible whisper. I, I'm like you. I had listening through headphones. <laughs> okay, okay, I got one. Words hurt, dude. <laughs> Words hurt, dude. <laughs> what did they say? Hey, you guys can whisper anything, and everyone's just coming after me. <laughs> did, did, you, did you hear what I said? No. Hey, right, so that's hear. that signifies it. God. You bastard. What God. Dude. What? what? You, I, I turned you to film Elton. Jonah for a second, and I forgot about our Female Elton's boys. twin. Okay, Corbin, come with me. All right. Okay, I'm gonna set this up. Wait, what is? You can go through the door. No, I'm a ghost. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, Corbin, get in here with me. I've been a ghost this whole time. I'm just using you guys to help me find my friends. <laughs> if there's anyone in here that wants to play with this teddy bear, you can. I just sat it on the chair. If you want to grab it or if you want to hug it, you can play with it for as long as you want to. Don't mind the scary man in the door. His name is Elton. My name is Corbin. And this is Corey. Yeah, let's try that. Oh, yeah. We just touched the 
walkie-talkie? I did not. Who just touched the walkie-talkie? Why did the walkie-talkie just make that noise? You sure you do? I have it right here. Is that you? That was me this time. Okay. But like, I don't see how I could have... I don't understand how I could have pressed the button in that at any... In any shirt. There's no way I pressed that button. Did anybody here just press the button on one of our walkie-talkies? Whoever you are, whatever spirit you are, you can put your energy into this device right here. If you put your hand on it, you put your energy into it, it will make different lights. And that's how I'll know you're here with us. Because I keep almost hearing something in there. Where that? Is the light in there? Wait, yes. Why? No, why is there, why is there a light in there? No, there's a light behind you, too. Dude, I swear, I just came up. Hey, there's light up there. What is up? Wait, what's going on right now? Where do you see light? Two lights just came on right now. You know what's so cool about that? What? Just whatever you saw, I heard. What? How? That was so cool. What did you hear? I dude, it sounds like you can't hear it. Like, it sounds like a stereotypical ghost sound, but I heard a, oh. and then the mic cut out. It went. K -k -k. What? Are you telling us that you're here? Remember what he said. That the ghosts and the spirits or anything else that was here got irritated when people would tell them what to do. You're right, you're right, you're right. He was like, they got irritated, and they like literally tried to kill him. Yeah. Because he was always like, knock first, knock oh, first. Thank, thanks, Elton, thank you. Thank you for telling me. You know, so I just want to remind you that you're... You okay. know, if, he's, if he's telling you what to do, I would get it, you'd be a little frustrated. So, if, you know, if you want to like shove oh, him around... Oh, I just went off. I just went off. You saw that, right? No, yes, the light's gone. The light's gone. So the light turns on when he starts asking for things to happen, and then turns off when I'm like, hey, we shouldn't ask. Like, he was like coming in the room to be like, yeah. No, there's light behind you too. What was that? Are you hearing that? Yes. If you're down the hallway, you just hear that. I was listening so harshly and then. Uh, oh, dude. Oh my god, it scared me. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Someone else should try this. This is the coolest. This is. We should have had this years ago. Corey, I think you should talk. I want to try that. At first, I heard like a. Like yeah. a walk, like a walk, yep. walk, walk. But then it turned into like a, a walk, drag, walk, drag. Oh, and then, and then I can oh very lightly, very lightly here, and I'm sure when I bump this later, what's that? A little bit of mumbling. I heard some breathing. I was hearing some breathing over there. Someone else you... should try this and walk around with it. I'll try. What? What, what are you hearing? What are you seeing? What? Was that? what? Oh my God! I'm not having this on. Corey, here. Wait. I'll Dang, let him just walk this hallway. This on real quick. Real quick. <laughs> What are you seeing? Corey, you should walk this hallway with one of them. I, I, it, maybe if someone walks with me, I'm kind of- Yeah, with the camera guy. Here, take this. I'm kind of in pain right now. In pain? Yeah. Corey, you should just like walk around. Holy Dude, it's Yeah, it's crazy. Wow. Yeah. Put it, put it in front of you. Wherever you point it is what it'll hear. Wait, put so it in like, watch around. What's up, bitch? 
Wow. That's a little loud. That's a little <laughs> loud. I like this. Uh huh. Yeah. This is no, no, cool. No, you do until it until works. something happens. Ask, ask some questions. Ask some questions. Okay. Oh my god, I'm having such bad chest pain. Yo, guys. Yeah. As you're talking, I can kind of hear someone whispering above y'all. What? It sounds like someone's whispering over your voices. What does it sound like they're saying? Like you guys are talking, I just hear like. Did you kill your headlamp? I'm gonna try something. Oh, wow. oh my. Shit. Okay. That's the trippiest Sorry. thing ever. Okay. Wow. Quick, wait. Get over there. Evan, did you see that infrared light flicker above the right there, right there, right there, right there, right there. There's pots banging. Follow it. Go to no, it. No, 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 no. You know what it sounds like? It sounds like an x-ray. It sounds like... Mm. Go follow it. That, you can... I, that's how I found you guys. Who's gonna come with me? Yeah. Whoa. Well, that was a growl. I didn't hear that one. It was like... I'll go behind you. I'll stay here. Go ahead. Why did it just get so much dimmer? Battery? No way. Look at that. Whoa. Guys. What? Look at the laser now. Just well, go. you can't. It's yeah. still on camera, but very dim. You guys all watched me put brand new batteries in everything today in the motorhome. Yeah. This whole thing. We just started again. Gone. <gasps> dude. 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 We just went into that room. That's literally, no, we went in there and stopped. We were in there for a good minute. Okay, it's like a... Let's go one more time. Dung. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's like some, someone's hitting a pan. Sarah, is that you? Is it your turn to scare daddy instead of daddy scaring you? There was someone whispering on top of you. Bro, this paired with the audio, we literally, why, why, we are literally go... This is cool. This is the first time I feel like, you know, we're doing science. You can walk with this that? is so cool. This is so cool. That's Elton. Why didn't we use this more often? <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Sarah, are you? Sarah, are you here? Sarah, are you taking us somewhere? It's heat, right? It's everything. It's heat, and then there's like two other forms of image on it. I just couldn't see what they're seeing because there was a sign blocking. You mother. Mm -hmm. scary. There's something scary in there. All right, something's telling me to go down here. Like just more so. Like run down here. Okay, do it, do it, do it. I'll be right behind you. Sarah, come with us. <gasps> Oh, oh, noise. Oh, what was that oh, noise? Oh, 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 you see that? Oh. Look! I just said, Sarah, come with us. Look at this. Sa Sarah, are you here? Is this where you were taking us? Whoa. Whoa. Why do you want us to go in this direction? Yo. It's going. There, yeah, there, I heard there. that. Do you hear this? Oh, dude. What? I'm hearing stuff. Dude, listen. Put it in there, put it in there. Hey, Sarah, are you in there? Can you say something to us?
that's what it's doing. Okay, okay. Those footsteps above us. Let's go, let's go. I look where it's leading into the conference room. That's, that's weird. It just went off like crazy right here. Point us in the direction that you want us to go. Do you need that? And you on? use this same device that you were using before? I just heard a cry. I just heard a cry. Oh my god. I oh. heard that. Didn't he say didn't he say that they saw her crying? Yeah. Dude, it was a uh, like but like crying like that was so his first encounter ever with her was her crying, saying that she just wanted to scare people too. You mind if I get that it's in your pocket? Let me do a little scan real quick here. Do I see anything on this? Wait, is that turned on and recording? Yeah, it's been recording the whole time. It should never have stopped. It's not on. I Dude, it's not on. Get the f*** out. It's not on. Is the battery dead? No, I charged everything. It may not have gotten the cry. Wait, the K2's going a little wild. It may not Wait, do you think all of that that I just got isn't recorded? Okay, so Jonah's afraid of the ghosties and asked me to help him do B-roll. <laughs> Are you trying to talk with us? Or is someone else trying to talk with us? Do you want us to go back to where we originally were walking? I can hear you really, really well right now, so if you give me any sort of sound, I'll be able to hear you. Earlier when we were here, did you say that you could walk with us? Asylum 49. <laughs> First started construction in 1949, hence giving the name. Asylum 49. Gained popular in Stuff. It's in that board room. I'm gonna record in case something happens. Huh? I'm gonna record in case something happens. Are you scared to talk to us? Dude, there's someone standing on the other side of that door. How do you see that? Did you see that earlier? Was that in that direction? It's like they're wearing a long ass robe and they're like floating. 
Okay, Corbin, look yeah. through this right now. Stand okay, where okay. I'm standing. Let's, let's switch, let's switch. Here, here, here. I'll just hold this. Just okay. just look through it real quick. Okay, okay. You don't have to take it off. Just look through the door. Bro, there's literally a silhouette of like, like a ghost in a gown. Did you just get scared? What did you get scared by? These Oh yeah, they got creepy. me. They, no, they got me earlier. Yeah, these things suck. Should I also do like uh, B-roll, but like night vision B-roll? Yeah, sure. I see the head. What? What is this? What am I looking through? The door. Feel the pan. Oh, oh, oh! Wait, it's moving. It's moving. No, it's not. Yes, it is. Keep it on it. Is it recording? Yes. Oh! You see that? No. Yo, what, was, what the f is that behind us? What was that sound? What was that sound, Corey? I don't know. Dude, I don't want to be in this one spot right now. Just like. Staring at this. Wait, was it really moving? Yeah, I saw its head go like this. No, you didn't. Yes, I did. Watch it for a little bit longer. Watch it for a little bit longer. Watch. Here, let me take that. Yo, dog, aim that behind us, bro. Okay. Something was banging behind us. Yeah, I heard that too. Whoa. 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 What do you mean, what? What? What the f what the f dude? What? What do you want us to find you? Yo, this just moved, homie. Right here. I think I have it on this too. You know what this place is? It's this is hospital. one of those. Yes, but dude, this is one of those haunted locations where I feel like, you know, they'll mess around with tools. Yeah. But they don't want to do tools. No, they don't. They want to like show themselves. Exactly. They want to knock. They want to move stuff. Yeah. 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 I agree. And the only thing that we actually really like the, the solid one was the K2. And then through here, right? This is it. Yeah. This is it. Oh yeah. So that's there's no way I heard them in a million years. There's no. Oh, yeah. and there's the staircase down. It's crazy. How long have you guys been out here? For like a good amount of time? Mm, a couple no, of minutes. No, we went back in. Under five. I heard like two big, big like flams and I called out to be like... Is that when you were saying on this like, oh sh No, that was before. It, oh, was like to the, it was like to the point where we were like, oh yeah, that's them. Like, yeah, I was like, literally, like... but then you guys weren't answering me. I'm like, okay. No, then that probably no. wasn't us. We ready? We have yeah. seven more nights on this trip? Yeah. Let's do it. Oh, wait, should we do the comment thing? You have to comment, chimichanga gone wrong. Hi guys. Okay. Bye. Let's go click jumping in the morning. You guys want to click jumping in the morning? Yeah, let's do it. I want to take a nap.